Welcome back to New Zealand and welcome back to my little channel. Back in February, our region got hammered by a cyclone, Cyclone Gabriel. Unfortunately, it caused widespread damage, few deaths, a lot of loss of property. So in my day job, I've been busy out and about recording the aftermath of the cyclone. I'll put a link above to, to one of the videos. Thoughts are with everybody who's still going through a major amount of crap. It's been a while since I've actually managed to grab a camera and get out and do my own thing. So today the weather's not the best, but I've decided to head down to a local beach, walk, explore, so we'll make a few nice photographs. Hopefully, towards the end of the day, we get some half decent light. So the camera of choice today is a beautiful Leica Q2. I'm thinking we might just make a shot of this. This gnarly bit of coastline here, being eroded away by the ocean, and then we've got the headland at Blackhead, just on the horizon there, and it looks quite impressive. And this looks quite interesting. We've got an old tree trunk coming out of the soft cliff face with a bit of sedimentary rock on top of it, which has come obviously from when the cliffs have eroded. So I'm just going to shoot this slightly higher so I can get a bit of separation between the foreground and the background headland. That looks pretty cool. There's no light on the scene whatsoever. Just going to try a low shot as well. Hey, it's all right. I think I prefer the shot above to be fair. I'll put up here, see what you think. Let's move on. Here comes the rain. Bloody hell. Yeah, that rain's not doing a lot. I've got all dressed up for bugger all, really. Now what I'm going to try and do is make a shot from the coastal dunes to the headland at Blackhead. I'll keep looking, see if I can come up with a shot. At the moment, I'm not entirely sure. Something like that, actually. We've got the darker trees on the right-hand side, the grass in the foreground, and the headland on the horizon. You never know. And we've got quite a, quite a moody sky going on back there. The Q2 is notorious for blowing out highlights, so I'm underexposing by a stop just to retain a little bit of that highlight detail. Now looking back along the beach where I've come from, the northern headland there, the Aramoana, that's standing out quite nicely. Some beautiful moody clouds going past over the top. Makes quite a nice shot. Right at the southern end of the beach now. Not going to go any further down that way. But looking back north where I've come from, we've got the headland on the horizon. We've got that rounded boulder there in the middle ground and in the foreground we've got this pitted sort of gnarly rock so we're going to try and incorporate the three of them into a nice shot now these are what are called power shells like a mollusk or a, i'm guessing it's like a mollusk they're quite a delicacy in new zealand personally not for me Myself and Seafood parted company many, many years ago. If you flip them over, look at that. How cool is that? That is just beautiful, the colours. And every, every one, obviously, is a different sort of colour, different shades. And the thing I remember these for, back in England, they were all the rage in the 1970s and used as uh, ashtrays, cigarette ashtrays. And uh, I just remember them in the 1970s. Every house you went to, you could see these things overflowing with old tab ends. What a waste of a beautiful shell. They make some nice photographs as well. I'm going to slip the Q2 into macro mode, take a few close-up shots. So again, the weather's starting to close in a bit. I'm going to call it a draw for now. I'm going to head back along the beach, back to the van, get a coffee, chill out for an hour or two then hopefully emerge in time for the last light of day. Hopefully something happens. I'm not holding out much hope, to be honest. So far, I'm quite liking a few of the shots that I've got. Will we make any more today? Time will tell. 
So in the absence of any light whatsoever, I'm going to call it a draw, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this little episode. Until next time, thanks for watching.